A series of interviews involving ex-Jesuit Malachi Martin and Art Bell revealed interesting aspects of the Third Secret of Fatima. The Third Secret is shrouded in mystery, with very few individuals still alive who know the text of the Fatima Revelation. Tarsicio Berton and Pope Benedict XVI have read it and were responsible for silencing Lucia Santos, the one who claimed she had received a message from the Virgin Mary. Pope Francis knows it, as well as a handful of Vatican insiders. It was only one page long, and only a few were permitted to read of it. Some of those who read it died mysteriously, most notably Malachi Martin, who spoke out about the secret. Interestingly enough, Martin was murdered less than one year before the third secret of Fatima was finally released by the Vatican. Oddly, the Vatican's version of the third secret was nothing like the way Malachi Martin described it. The Vatican's text indicated that the Pope would be the target of an assassination attempt, but Martin said there was much more to the third secret, including several chastisements or judgments as well as the unveiling of something in the sky. Something would come into clear view, into clear sight, and it would be in the heavens. Martin said in interviews with Art Bell that everybody on earth would see this object. He also confirmed that the Jesuits at Mount Graham Observatory in Arizona are tracking the approach of something that would arrive after the start of the new millennium. Malachi Martin gave his series of interviews with Art Bell from 1996 to his last interview in 1998. He would die in 1999. In one of these interviews, he said the prophesied time of the third secret would be less than 20 years away. One of the most interesting parts of Martin's interviews about the Third Secret was an unusual commentary he gave about Hitler and a celestial event that happened on January 25th, 1938. Um, if this Third Secret of Fatima were made public, yes. could it be the shock that the public, that the Church needs? It could be. And that is one reason why it's not published, and why it's sunk into a limbo, out of which it's not going to come easily. It would be a shock, there's no doubt about that. Uh, it, it would affect people in different ways, though, Art. Um, some people would, on being told that this was authentically the third secret of Fatima, mm -hmm. they would get extremely angry. Without, again, <laughs> you know, I'm skipping very carefully. Yes, sir. Uh, the, the central element in the third secret is awful. In human calculation, yes, this will shock. This will uh, jerk people out. This will fill the confessionals on a Saturday evening. <laughs> this will mm -hmm. fill up the cathedrals and the basilicas and the churches with worshippers kneeling down, striking their breast. Now, what's the third secret? It's rather a dire document, uh, ma'am. It's not pleasant reading at all. Uh, I'm under oath not to reveal the actual details of it because I read it. You read it? I read it. I, I, I can't break my oath in that matter, but it is not pleasant reading at all. Does this involve a chastisement? Yes, several. With what, uh, how much weight, Father, do you give to the uh, entire Fatima revelations? I consider it to be the key event in the declining fortune of the Roman Catholic organization and the defining event for the near future of the church in the second mille in the in the next millennium, the third millennium. It's the defining event. And you obviously cannot speak of that. Not factually, not word for word. I can't, I took a note. But it seems pleasant. The less you know about it, the better. Except that there is going to be a reckoning. And that uh, nobody existing on the face of this 
Earth will be exempt from knowing uh, uh, the power of someone high. They will interpret it in different ways. That would advance to reason. According, yeah, according, according to their culture. according to their beliefs. That's why right, their culture and their bias. And uh, there will be people who will be faced with the with the certainty that there is a greater power above our heads will say they will deny it. They will the science they reject it. The scientists, for example, will find a scientific explanation for it. Well, they will remember the famous so-called Aurora Borealis in 1938. Well, uh, I, I certainly am aware of Aurora Borealis, but not one specific. There was a specific one, which they explained by saying Aurora Borealis, but really wasn't that at all. They all agreed it wasn't Aurora Borealis. The only one who put his finger on it was Adolf Hitler. This event was described vividly in newspapers at the time. Notable newspapers in Europe described a celestial event that happened as a scarlet red aurora borealis. Though Martin said that this was not an aurora borealis in the sky, it was something else. Something was in the sky in 1938, and Hitler saw it. When he saw it, he allegedly said, quote, now we will shed blood. Martin said the sign in the sky was told to Lucia Santos at Fatima. This was the sign that would precede World War II. Adolf Hitler saw this sign. It prompted him to declare that the violence would begin. Is there a sign in the heavens that will precede World War III. Is this the third secret told to Lucia Santos? Scientists, for example, will find a scientific explanation for it. Well, they will remember the famous so-called Aurora Borealis in 1938. Well, I, I certainly am aware of Aurora Borealis, but not one specific There was a specific one which they explained by saying Aurora Borealis, but really it wasn't that at all. They all agreed it wasn't Aurora Borealis. The only one who put his finger on it was Adolf Hitler. And he Great said, say. and he said what? Well, he was in Wachtesgaard at the Wolf's Lair. That was his famous uh, place when he was for, for a weekend with his cabinet. And Speer, Albert Speer, who was a member of his cabinet, his architect, tells us in his second book, that night, they all stood on the esplanade of his villa in the Bavarian mountains, looking out to the east and seeing these extraordinary sights of light. And Hitler said, Ja, nun, now we have to shed blood. We didn't shed blood in taking the Tsar, we didn't shed blood in taking Czechoslovakia, but now we're going to shed blood. So he took that as a sign? Oh, he took it as it was a sign. The Virgin who told the children in Fatima in 1917 about this sign, she told it would take place just before the Great World War. She said um, it will be just before they start killing millions. But whether they admit it or not, a great deal of political power all around the world. Uh, one of the things that they did fairly recently was they muscled, and I, I do intend to use that word, uh, sure. they muscled their way onto a mountain in Arizona, Mount Graham, mm -hmm. and they built an observatory on Mount Graham mm -hmm. in connection with an Arizona university. Yeah. However, the Vatican has the larger part of the control of this observatory, yeah. looking at deep space things. That's right. Now, why would they have done that, Father? Because the mental, the attitude, mentality amongst uh, those who, at the higher level, the highest levels of Vatican administration and Vatican geopolitics, know that uh, now knowledge of what's going on in space and what's approaching us 
could be of great import in the next uh, five years, ten years. Carefully and well chosen words, Father, thank you. Can you tell us in a way that we can read between the lines with regard to the third prophecy? Um, is there is there a timetable that you are aware of that cannot speak but cannot speak of that we can read between the lines on? Uh, yes and no. There is a. It is not 200 years away. It is not 50 years away. It is not 20 years away. Number one. Well, that's. And number two, it involves. The entire world system. It's not merely one area, not merely one religion, not merely one race. Will be apparent to all. All, without exception. Without exception, and it will be frightening. And and the last thing I wanted to ask you is: there anything that we can do as individuals, other than praying to avert what is coming in that third secret? We can't avert it now. It, 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 it is coming. When is something else? But it is coming for sure. The only one who put his finger on it was Adolf Hitler. 